Hello, Father James Kubicki here, wishing you a happy and blessed St. Patrick's Day. I definitely mean both of those, happy and blessed. Unfortunately, many people today will focus on the first part, being happy, and the way they'll try to be happy is by getting drunk. I hope you don't think that because I'm 100% Polish, all this is sour grapes, and that I'm a spoil sport at heart. I like to have a good time, and I know that Jesus turned water into wine. But there's just something not right about celebrating a saint by drinking too much. A few years ago, I was asked to bless the shamrock at an establishment in the city where I lived. It was a tradition they had and a way that God, through the intercession of St. Patrick, would bless the place and keep it safe. I was happy to oblige, and after praying the prayers around 10 in the morning and blessing the shamrock plant with holy water, I went around the room and blessed all the people. Near the end, I came upon one young man who said to me, Father, you better give me an extra dose. I'm gonna need it. Indeed. He may have thought he needed a blessing to be safe the rest of that day and to not get sick, as I suspect he did before noon, but I think he needed a different kind of blessing. A wake-up call that told him blessings were not for good luck, and you don't honor a saint by getting drunk on his feast day. You honor a saint by imitating his or her virtues, and I think temperance was one of St. Patrick's. I don't mean temperance as in never drinking, but as the Catechism defines it, balance in the use of created goods and moderation in the attraction of pleasures.